Hello fam and welcome back to another video. This is our monthly family Costco grocery haul for this month and I can't wait to show you what we got. I was trying to stick to a really strict budget as you know. We also do our monthly meal plan with weekly revisions and we also inventory, check our fridge, pantry and freezer, make sure we're using up everything that we have so nothing goes to waste. And if you do want to stick to a budget, make sure you go into Costco with a list. That's a great way to save money. Get a lot of questions about the coupon book. You do not have to clip coupons, okay? You just go in there and when you check out, it comes off. Always double check your receipt and make sure, but yes, it's automatic. By the way, if you go between coupon books, always double check. They do have some random sales and it's really fun to look for those. Be careful, stay on budget, right? But just, it's fun to look. <laughs> And we're just getting back from Costco and this is our December 2023 Costco haul. I can't wait to share with you guys what we got. A couple of things for the holiday and a couple of things that were on sale. This month we spent just around $150 and that's what I'm trying to keep it at when we go there. I did get some Starbucks coffee and here's the thing about Starbucks. Now, I got this Starbucks with my Fetch Rewards. If you guys aren't using Fetch, it's basically an app where you scan receipts and you earn rewards. And I basically cash out my rewards for gift cards. And as you can see, I don't normally get Starbucks, but I, I normally get Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't really like the reward system lately. I don't know, let me know what you guys prefer, Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. It's really good, mm, mm-hmm, mm. Delish. It's all right, first and foremost, we got the cage-free eggs. These are five dozen. They're about $9 and change, and I think it's still a really good deal. We recently had a deal in one of our local markets. I think they were like $1.29 for 18 eggs. It was just like the store brand, and they were out because everyone ran and got them. 18 eggs for $1.29, and it's just like not even an Aldi or anything like that, just a regular grocery store. But I have two rain checks. <laughs> yes, I have two rain checks in my wallet. Mr. Frida family got one and so did I, so my husband. So he got one and I got one and we're good. Once these run out, we'll just go to like, we'll go back and get them at $1.29, which I thought is a great, great thing. By the way, rain checks are a great way to save money. If something goes out of stock and it's a really rock bottom price, we just recently did it with a ham that was on sale at one of the local markets. And I'm so thrilled, 99 cents a pound for the bone in ham that normally is like $2 a pound. So really great deal. Check with your markets and see if they'll do a rain check. Baby spinach, $3.99. We normally get the mixed greens, but the mixed greens are kind of hard to come by. So we just got the baby spinach. If the, if the mixed greens are not in stock, we'll get the baby spinach. We use these for smoothies and salads and kind of side dishes. You can do all kinds of things. You can saute it as a side dish. You can sneak it in a meatloaf, put it in a smoothie. Typically, we keep it fresh in the fridge until it starts maybe wilting or going bad, and then we'll freeze it, and then we have it for smoothies. Now, the Kerrygold butter is on sale for the Black Friday deal. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. We need a Black Friday ad, like a little preview. But with the discount, Kerrygold has gotten so expensive that the Kirkland is still cheaper. So $9.99 for Kirkland grass-fed butter, and I honestly cannot tell the difference between the Kerrygold and the Kirkland. So we went with the Kirkland. Although, ugh, I was so disappointed because I was hoping that the Kerrygold on sale would be just as maybe the same price or a little bit less, but nope, it got, it, I think it went all the way up to like $14.99 for the four pack. Um, this is what they, there's like four in there. I know, with the sale, it still was too expensive. But again, really good deal on it. Like if you really, really like Kerrygold and you want to splurge, it's a really good deal right now. And with that sale, it makes it even better. Rotisserie chicken. I plan on having that tonight because we were shopping, so the family is kind of like, you know, tired and we're putting everything away. So we're gonna eat the, most of the meat tonight and then I'll have a little bit left. I'm gonna do a little chicken salad for lunches and then I'm also going to take the bones and the skin and make a stock in my crock pot. Like about, say 12 to, 12 to 24 hours with some leftover like celery ends and carrots and onions and just make a really nice stock. I've been doing that for years and it's a really great way to make a base for like broccoli cheddar soup, potato soup, any kind of chicken soup, anything you want and it gets all the rest of the chicken off the bone. $4.99, you cannot go wrong for that. I really do like this Butterball deal. It's about $21 for four of these and each one is more than one pound. It actually is I think one and a half pounds per chub or something like that or one and a quarter. It's more than a pound and I just take them apart, freeze them, and then I use them for a big meal. I like to make turkey meatballs. I like to make turkey meatloaf. I like to make lettuce wraps. Really great option when you're kind of looking um, maybe to substitute beef. 
I like to have it sort of as another option and it's nice and lean. And 21 bucks for four of them is really good. I think it comes to about $3 and change a pound, which is, you're talking Walmart prices for that. And Walmart isn't even that cheap anymore. I Side note, I don't really like going to Walmart anymore. Let me know in the comments, are you guys still going to Walmart? I know some people only have Walmart. I have Costco and then I have some local markets that I like to take advantage of. But anyway, it just doesn't seem to be the best for me. I always find that I spend way too much money there. All right, this was on sale. I don't know if it's like a, your market may vary, but it definitely is something that I absolutely love. $12, I believe, is $11.99 in my market. And I have to say, I love this for charcuterie boards, but I just will just eat it as like a snack. So I do plan on making a charcuterie board for the holidays. I have some nuts. I have, I did get pretzels and some pepper jack. I'll show you that over there. Those are pepper jack cheese crisps. Also, I have um, some cheddar cheese that I'm gonna cut up in my drawer. So yeah, I love this. I absolutely love when it's on sale. It has the Soprasada, the Nostrano, the uncured pepperoni, pepperoni and the Toscano salami. So really great deal on that. And you get a lot of meat. Like they do, they did also have like those little cheese wrapped salami or salami and cheese, like those little spiral, I don't know. I forget what they call like spirellas. Something like that. And they were about the same price, but I have some cheese sticks also. So I was like, I can just put these around. I could just put some cheese sticks on the, you know, on the charcuterie board. Anyway, really good deal on that. I did get some ground beef. I love their ground beef. There's something about Costco's ground beef that just tastes so good. I don't know if it's because it's 88% lean and 13, 12, 12%, 12% 12 um, fat. I don't know. There's something about it. It's now $4.19 a pound. Not the cheapest, but there's something so good about the taste every time i go and get like whatever's on sale maybe the local markets for like a dollar 99 or a dollar 49 a pound it just never never meets up to the quality and i really can taste the difference so i'm going to put that in about well i have it's about five pounds i'm going to go ahead and put it in about 1.2 or like a little over a pound chubs in my in like little freezer bags and i'm gonna have about four of those when i'm done and it'll get me one big meal every week of the month because this is a monthly haul. And then I'll just kind of make a big batch of either like pasta sauce or meatballs or meatloaf. And then we can have it for a couple nights. Rayo's is on sale for the Black Friday ad. And I'm so excited. I love this stuff so much when it's on sale. Oh, I got to grab it. $8.99 for two. That's unheard of. Typically, you go in a regular grocery store. It's $8.99, guys, for like one. Got the garlic, $4.99. Really good deal on that. These were on sale. I think they were like... $6, if I'm not mistaken, the Sonoma Creamery Pepper Jack Cheese Crisps. They're on sale, and I love cheese crisps because um, if you're keto or low-carb, or if you're not looking, maybe looking for something like a little less carby, these are also really great on like a cheese board. I've never tried this brand, but I've tried similar ones, and hey, it's cheese. <laughs> it's real cheese, baked, you can't go wrong. I got these for charcuterie board. I also, I got those actually because, I have to say, my kids also like a little salty snack. So they like those for lunch as well. And you can have them with peanut butter. You can have them as just, a, they're really good to have at school. The kids really like them because they're salty and they're crunchy and they kind of hit the spot. Got my Car Balance Mission Tortillas, $5.99 for two packs. There's two packs in there. Way better deal than at Walmart or any other place. You really can't find those at that price. So I'm really happy about that. I did get fully cooked bacon. I kind of spoiled myself. We're going to be having some brunches and different things like that for the holidays and as much as I don't mind cooking bacon, and I think this is really a lazy hack, I'm really happy to be able to do that during the holidays. $13.99 for this, and there's a lot in there. It's about 50 slices, so we don't eat a ton of it, and what I love about this is you can freeze it, and it comes out perfect every time. I actually don't even like the way my bacon tastes anymore once I tried this, so I don't know. I'm My spoiled, my spoiledness might have to turn into a habit because this stuff is really good. $9.99 for the Martinelli Sparkling Cider. We always get this. We don't drink or anything like that. So we get the sparkling cider and the kids enjoy it. We enjoy it. And we get it around, again, right before Thanksgiving. We have it for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Kind of like all special occasions. And my little fireplace and my trees in the back. <laughs> I can't believe it's the holidays already, guys. You'll see I did buy a pizza. That's just the box I wanted to show you guys. I got a half pepperoni, half cheese for the kids and us. And just kind of, again... That was for lunch, and we'll have chicken for dinner. And then these are on sale. The Tasty Bite Madras Lentils. These are really good, but they went up so far in price that I think they're like $15.99 when they're not on sale. They're about $10 now that they're on sale. And my husband and my children really love these. So it's really great. They taste amazing. And you probably can make it on your own, but we really like the way they taste. 
that's pretty much it this month at Costco. Let me know if you see anything that you like or that you're gonna grab on sale. I can't wait to hear what you guys have on your list. Definitely check out that Costco coupon book video so you guys can get all the different things that are on sale this month. And let me know what you're getting kind of for the holidays. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. I wanted to share with you a quick Chalk Zero purchase that I just made. So a little Chalk Zero haul for you. I do have a discount code, and I, I absolutely love that I can share that with you guys. I've been eating this for about five years. I don't get a discount, but if you guys purchase, you get a discount and I get a little bit of a kickback, and I do appreciate that, but you don't have to. I just want to share this because... I'm obsessed with Chalk Zero. So they do have out these new pecan patties or turtles or whatever you want to call them. They're so delicious. They have that caramel and pecan, almost like a Snickers bar. They also came out with their little donkeys, which are like their Oreos, their little sandwich cookies. They taste amazing. And then I also got their vanilla syrup, which is sugar-free, obviously, sweetened with monk fruit, and I've been using it in my coffee for the fall. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I did get chocolate milk, or milk chocolate orange, 50% cocoa, dark chocolate squares. And then I got two jams and the new Rhea, Rhea, Rhea candy bars. <laughs> I love this stuff. Okay, so the orange chocolate tastes, literally tastes like those little orange chocolate candies I used to have growing up. My dad used to get them for us. And then the I also love the fact that they have the marmalade. I dipped the dark chocolate in the marmalade. Oh, so good. If you are low carb or keto, the marmalade and the jelly, the strawberry jelly tastes just like the regular so you can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like you used to and then these Rhea bars oh my gosh they're so good guys oh my gosh by the time you're watching this video these are already gone <laughs> i don't even know if they're in stock i got them as soon as they dropped them they taste like snickers i'm not even kidding they're gluten-free keto free they're keto and they're soy free they have caramel peanuts and the nougat and even my kids say they taste a lot like snickers because the nougat and the caramel is on point plus with those peanuts so delicious so if you do want to grab this Go ahead and use the discount code free to family at, at checkout and it'll save you. But again, I use my own money to buy this hands down. One of my absolute favorite chocolates and I don't pretty much eat anything else. It's low carb, it's keto, it's sugar free and they use monk fruit. So definitely go ahead, use the link below or the code free to family at checkout to save. And don't forget to take advantage of these offers and great ways to earn more money. With Rakuten, you can get an additional $30 bonus when you sign up and spend $30 or more using the referral link in the video description. You can also receive up to 20% cash back every time you shop at your favorite stores. Just use the app or the Chrome extension. Next, we have the Ibotta app where you can get cash back when doing your grocery shopping. You can also receive a $10 bonus when you sign up and upload your first receipt using the referral code on the screen or the referral link in the description box below. And in case you want to maximize your rewards, you can use a second app like Fetch Rewards to upload the same receipt you just used from the Ibotta app. Fetch is super easy to use as it will give you points just for uploading any type of receipt and you will get 2,000 points equal to $2 in rewards just for signing up with this referral code on the screen. Seriously, don't miss out on any of these offers and amazing ways to make extra money. You can also earn more money by referring your own friends and family. So get started today.